It's a simple and effective way to get inertia working in their favor. In every single project that we do, explosives are nothing more than a catalyst. Our number one tool is gravity. That's what we're doing here. The explosives team must cut the pigtails on each shaped charge exactly the same length to ensure that the explosives detonate simultaneously. The slightest error could create a malfunction. Otherwise, what happens, this one goes off 10 milliseconds before the other, it will knock that one off without detonating it. Now we've got a live shape charge in the pile, which is absolutely unacceptable. A live charge in the tower's debris could detonate during cleanup when crews remove the felled tower. Stacy and Ray power through loading the 11th and 7th levels. Some floors are easier to access than others. The whole three row, you gotta tie off and you gotta walk the steel, there's no way to get to it. With the catwalks and access corridors gone, Stacy is forced to the edge of the tower's skeleton to load. It's slow going. There are only two days until the implosion, but hundreds of shape charges left to load. Kevin and the crew move in to help rig. They do what they can from more stable platforms. They strap explosives to MST-40's exterior legs using man lifts. Even demo designer and company president Mark Luazo jumps in to help load. The explosive team knows that loading the charges is only half the job. 